Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Video Devo. Renee here, and this week, as we continue on the trail of King David, we are walking that long, sad walk with him as he comes up the Mount of Olives to flee from his son Absalom, who has declared himself the new king, and he is instituting a rebellion against David. Now, spoiler alert, Absalom's rebellion does fail. And in a great tragedy to David, in fact, I don't know if he ever completely gets over this, uh, his own son Absalom, the one who betrayed him, is killed by one of David's men, even though David had asked his men to go gently on Absalom and not kill him, but he dies. And when David gets the news, of course, he's shattered. In 2 Samuel 18, 33, it says, the king was deeply moved and went to the room above the gate. And as he went, he was crying, Oh, my son, Absalom, my son, my son, Absalom, oh, my son, if only I had died in your place, oh, Absalom, my son, my son. And this verse is just drenched with emotion. Somebody said, when a child dies young, part of a parent is buried too. And I know that many people watching these video devos can relate to that emotion. But now added to that is a layer of complexity because his son was the worst kind of a rebel. His son tried to kill him, and yet David still mourns for him. And if you've gone through the difficult time of having a rebellious child, then you can relate to that emotion too. Okay, now let this blow your mind. The emotion that David feels when he says, Oh, I wish I could have died in your place, Absalom, my son. He wishes he could have died in the place of his rebellious child. That is the exact same emotion that God feels for you and for me. Only in God's case, he could do it, and he did. He did die in the place of us, his rebellious children. In the book of Romans, in chapter 5, verse 8, it says, but God demonstrates his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, rebels, Christ died for us. He took our place, us, the rebellious kids. David's heartbreaking love for Absalom is just a fraction of how God loves you and how much God loves me. When we rebel against him, he doesn't wish us dead. No, like David, only times infinity, he wishes he could take our place and die in our place for our sins, and that's exactly what he did. So maybe if you're rebellious today, you're Absalom, you're one of those rebellious children, come home to a father who loves you that much. You do that, and I know you'll have a great day and a great life.